when it comes to platformer video games, there have been quite a number that have been released in the past few years. The problem is that the vast majority of them restrict their gameplay to the 2D playing field, and very few have gameplay on the 3D plane like the old N64 platformers. Enter Glass Wing, a game created by From Soy Sauce for the PC platform, one of the few game maker titles to use actual 3D graphics. Glass Wing takes a very clear inspiration from the old 3D platforms on the N64, especially Super Mario 64. There are also some very obvious influences from the Toho series of games as well. The game controls are a bit strange at first, though this allows for the challenge of learning new mechanics, like timing a jump just right while going down a slide so as to get the longest distance possible. Mayfly, the game's main character, starts out with just the ability to run around and jump. But over the course of the game, she gains all sorts of abilities to aid her in her quest to repair her wings and return home. The game's levels are a mix of puzzle challenges and platforming sections. Most of the puzzles are pretty decent brain challenges, save for one door puzzle that's basically just trial and error. The platforming sections are quite satisfying once you get the hang of the game's controls. You'll be practically dancing over the various platforms and obstacles the levels throw at you. Even with the limited graphical capabilities of Game Maker, Glass Wing has an ambience that is quite nice and unique unto itself. A large part of this is due to the game's great musical score, with such fantastic tracks such as Bad Juju, Hallowed Waltz, and A Waltz for Trixie. The game's sound effects are delightfully cartoonish, complementing the tone of the game quite well. The voice work for Mayfly is a little inconsistent, but cute nonetheless. But where the voice acting really shines is with Ferris, the game's villain. Dr. Wolf brings a strong sense of power to his performance that really builds Ferris up as the all-powerful demon that he is. It's actually kind of a shame that his time in the game is so limited. But that's what's good about the game. Glasswing isn't exactly without flaw. The game has some minor issues with collision in regards to certain objects and surfaces. The game is also horribly optimized especially for a game with graphics just slightly better than that of the N64. This is only worsened by the fact that Game Maker's frame rate is tied to its gameplay, and since the frame rate is somewhat inconsistent, Mayfly seems to move at different speeds depending on the level. That is, unless you cap the game at 30 frames per second. The game took us about two hours to finish on a first-time playthrough. While Glass Wing is far from perfect, it also has quite a few qualities not found in many other games. One being that, well, it's a 3D platformer released in the current year. If you're just dying to play a new game reminiscent of those old N64 platformers, it's worth checking out. But for everyone who's not completely enthralled with the genre, it might be best to take a pass. Maybe wait and see if From Soy Sauce's next game is any good.